Cousin Internet. It's me, Cousin Todd, with Mama's Comedy Show. And with me is Cousin Ali. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. <laughs> and it's Cousin Jason. Hey, everybody. Uh, how are you guys doing? Doing, doing well. Almost have all of my Christmas shopping done. Yeah. Almost. I just haven't Which gotten anything from my you, wife yet. Aren't you, um, aren't you Hispanic? I am Hispanic. I Do am, you, yeah. Puerto Rican. I, I thought you people... Uh, don't <laughs> go on, go on. I can't. I like. I got the joke out already. The joke. The joke was got. Uh, we do celebrate Three Kings Day, uh, although uh, I don't think we do in my house. Mm. Um, yeah, mm. is, that's uh, the Three Kings are uh, Martin Luther. K- yeah. Um, yes. Uh, hold on. I got. Let's see. Uh, 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 Rodney Diamond. Right. <laughs> Rodney and Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's the Holy Trinity. That that is the Holy Trinity. I was gonna say Billie Jean. <laughs> oh, no, she's not my lover. Yeah. No. No. Um, <laughs> uh, I've got. I feel like I have. So, he, so here's the fun. The fun little thing. So I was doing all my Christmas sh- shopping, and then the biggest gift I got was a seventy two hundred dollar. IRS bill. Nice. Oh, oh man! So I got you know what I got myself for Christmas. What'd You've you been good all year. I've been I, I got myself not going to jail. Oh <laughs> wow! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. What's the most you guys have had to pay to the IRS? Um, well, I'm I'm illegal, so I don't. I don't oh, pay. God damn it! What a what yeah. a what a great scam! Yeah, I know it's great. And you get you get to spend all all day out there in those orange fields, and enjoying it. <laughs> little vitamin D, bro. Little uh, vitamin D while picking the vitamin C. Mm-hmm. God Wait, damn. are you are you are you talking income tax? Yeah. Not like your house. Okay, my my housing tax went up from like three grand to eight grand, and and we were really sweating for a while there. But that's different. Well, yeah, it did, and don't worry about that because at, next year your house will be gone. That's and, true, and the, mm. you won't have insurance to to mm. cover it. So that went up too. Yeah. See, so yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. A win-win. Um, so yeah, at that point you just say fuck it and you become a murderer. That's my plan. You <laughs> yes. guys better hope that uh, we don't lose our home insurance because I like I've got it planned out. Like I'm, <laughs> I really have thought it through. Okay, I'm not coming after you guys. Just so you know. Okay, I mean, but that that is what I would say to get <laughs> you. Said, yeah, exactly. Yeah, could you guys come over bring all of your cash? <laughs> so you can hide it in our house. We have a purge party. Yeah. Come on out. Do you have extra pairs of shoes? I'm also I'm painting the living room, so don't worry about the plastic on the floors when you guys come in. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean that's logical. Uh, you guys yeah, are no, painters. Yeah, seventy two hundred was like a wow. pretty a pretty hard pill wow. to swallow. I think yeah. I think the most I've ever paid was like was like three grand. Yeah, and that was just because it was a really good year, and at that point. I had a whole bunch of stuff going on, like 1099 stuff, and yeah, yeah it was just, it was a bunch. And I was like, that was, Shit, mine was Mine was all 1099 stuff. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I I try to put like 40% of everything to the side, but it's it's hard Fucking sometimes. Nerd. Well, <laughs> <'em>! that's the way. <laughs> but uh, I th- yeah, I think the most I've been is like, like two grand or something at the most. Are, are you one of those people that also has savings? My savings yeah. account is where I put the forty percent, and then it's all depleted at the end of the year. Look at this guy, this guy over here, <laughs> what a nerd, Mister yeah. Mister. Schedule my bills and pay it before they turn it off. Oh yeah, <laughs> I also don't buy things before I can afford them. It's they a, will. Uh, hey, listen, you get a warning before they shut off your electricity. They don't just shut it off. That's true. Well, with your taxes, you don't have to necessarily pay it all back right away. Yeah, that's true, but they they do charge you interest. Oh, was it David Tell's joke? And goes if you don't turn if you don't pay your light bill within three to seven months, they will cut <laughs> your lights right out. Don't you think they should dim them slowly so you get the hint to pay the bill? Right, <laughs> uh, or at least flicker them. Uh, you know, there was a a woman when I lived in Winter Park. I lived in a condo, and so brag. we bought. Well, they, no, we <laughs> bought way before that original housing burst. Oh yes. Um. So we got it like super super cheap, and then it like was shooting up in value. And then uh, there was a woman who bought the the townhome that was connected to the end of my building. Mm-hmm. And never thought anything. Like she just, I, I saw her come and go, never talked to her, anything like that. Um, the, uh, the big housing market crash happened. Mm-hmm. And um, 
like after like a few months, like after that initial crash, she finally got evicted. And that's when I found out she went two and a half years. She lived there. Yes. Lived there for two and a half years. Like she got the loan, got into the place, didn't pay shit uh-huh. for two and a half years. Didn't even pay like her association's fee or anything. Nothing. For two and a half years. And that's how long it took them to get her out. Wow. What a, what a great scam. Okay. Wow. My parents were in their house for 10 years without paying a dime on their mortgage because of that, because that happened 10 plus years ago, right? So uh, the their lawyer said, don't pay anything because they're still going to they're still gonna foreclose on the house. Don't pay. Year one, year two. Anyway, t- year 10. We're at the final, final week, final day of when the bank can foreclose on the house officially to take it away. Uh, they file the paperwork. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, long story short, uh, they're still in the house. Uh, wow. but, but they were able to, they were able to get a, the, the bank didn't want to go through with the foreclosure and all that stuff. So right. they, they got a whole loan and they're, they're, they're not illegal anymore. Ali. I'm proud of you guys. Yeah. 10 years. Look at you, you guys. Wait, you guys are both Hispanics. Yes. Yes. But different types. <laughs> yeah. Is that different types like vampires? Yes. Yep. Um, I'm a day walker. That's why I have a, I have a glittery chest and my, my assistant is a, a non-white over there, she's sitting in the corner. Oh, hi, Jason assistant. is is your assistant? My uh, assistant is white as the morning snow. That's why finally, he still has a house. Ohio. Out of out of the five of us in this room, <laughs> two of us are majorities. <laughs> 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 finally, one for the white man. Forty forty percent of us by twenty thirty five or something like that will be Hispanics. Well, to be fair. Since your wife is technically a woman, yeah, she doesn't count as a full person. That, so that's true. That's uh, true. She I only mean, she only gets paid seventy five percent as well. That's the the old joke. Is it seventy five percent? Is it seventy five percent on the dollar for women on on average? Yeah. There's there's the joke that's a uh, like a two millionaires guy and a woman like walk into a bar. And uh, the bartender says, how you feeling? He goes, I feel like a million bucks. And she goes, me too. I feel like $750,000. <laughs> yep. What is it? There was a great meme that was going around. And and I saw it. Or not a meme, but just a, a, a video. And I saw a reaction of it. And it was this woman who um, who like likes to almost social warrior justice like type thing and talks about things. And so she's sitting there and she's reacting to this guy. And he goes, here's the deal uh, with the change of pay. There is a difference in rate of pay between men and women, and it's because of women choosing to do different positions and, and jobs. And so you see her cross her arms like, <laughs> what the hell? And he goes, like, men are choose to be lawyers, doctors, you know, things like that, yeah. CEOs. And women choose to be women doctors, <laughs> women lawyers. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, my God. And yet, and yet, if... A uh, if a woman chose to be a man doctor, uh, the world would catch fire. Mm-hmm. I'm not letting that thing touch me. <laughs> uh, man, you know what? Like, if you look at like the, if you go down that rabbit hole on TikTok, like the far right, like, how often do you go down that rabbit hole, Todd? Uh, honestly, like when I see a story. Oh. And I start following it yeah. to see like what the fuck are they t- lizard people like you like you have to go down that rabbit hole when they when you see like it's like the flat earther stuff. Yep. Like when you see it's one a train wreck, you got to go one flat earther video and you're like, holy shit, I got to see. I want to know more about these people's lives for sure. Um, but when you go down like those really far right rabbit holes, I'm like, man. I could make a killing if I just had no morals and just wanted to like uh rip people off because they'll believe anything you say oh and i'm not just saying not just the extreme far right but i'm just saying that's where you find a bulk of it i mean how much money could you make just be at well but they could also come after you and kill you but like starting a youtube channel that is far right propaganda stuff and you have nothing you don't care right but yeah, if you, had uh, no you know morals people are gonna it. yes yeah Here's where here's where I, I, I get worried about like AI right now. Um, 
I don't know if you guys seen it. Now they're starting to do videos. Uh huh. Yes. Using celebrities and using people. Oh. AI videos. Right. With their voice. Yeah. And you know, just for fun. So like Arnold Schwarzenegger and everybody. Oh movie. no, there was so a, a saw... Tom Hanks one where it was Tom Hanks selling like a dental service, uh-huh. and he immediately came out and said, "That's not me. I had nothing to do with yeah. it." Yeah, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm-hmm. A, it was hilarious, but he does this whole thing about you know um, they have proven, it, and he's sitting there talking, and he's like, you know, it's it's been proven now at the center of the universe. It, it's always been a theory that it is a massive black hole. That's how the gravitational pull. That's what keeps the galaxy together. And he starts going on the thing. There are students that um, have proven it now. It has been a theory. Hmm. They have proven. Uh, at the University of Indiana, students have proven that the center of the universe and what pulls that massive amount of gravity is your mom's fat ass. <laughs> so it's hilarious, but I'm like, until you really stare at it, you don't yeah. realize yeah. it's not. It, it's AI. So I'm like, with politics, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they're going to start putting these things like, see, look at that. Look at that. There's a There's a video of Biden banging kids. And it's like, that's AI. Like, but people yeah. will buy it. That is AI life. banging kids. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna believe it anyway. They're, you know they, I mean? They've already slowed down videos and stuff. But, that, but that's oh different. yeah, they did. They slowed down a video of Biden and said, yeah. "Look, he's he's slurring his speech." Oh, and they slowed it down. Yeah, yeah. and that but that was like a major news organization mm-hmm. that did that. Ugh. And then and then like a week later, they were like, "Oh yeah, it's come to our attention that the video we showed, we showed it exactly how we got it." But yeah, it does appear as though it's been slowed down. <laughs> The same thing. Remember when it was? Uh, who, was it? Was it Obama that uh, karate chopped the woman's arm or something like that? <laughs> I haven't was, seen that one. And no. it was it was either Obama or it might have been Biden. They, where they said he karate chopped this reporter's arm, and they sped up the footage to where he was like going to reach for it, and uh, the, his arm brushed against hers. Oh my! But God. they sped it up to look like, and I was like, God dang it, man! Give me your money. I will be your god. Yeah. Fucking Kenyan. <laughs> I was chopping I, Americans. That's not cool, man. I yeah. just want to say, I, I just, I just wanted to see the birth certificate. <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, here, here's my birth certificate. Well, where's the long form birth certificate? Right. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Um, so how's uh, how's uh, how? Not to get off politics, but let's get off politics. <laughs> how's your holiday season going? You guys, uh, you guys excited? Did you? I kind of, I kind of did something for the first time Wait, this year. You're Hispanics. Yes. Yeah. Do do you celebrate the birth of? Uh, the I am all about the Navi Dads. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, I thought Dad that was jokes. a different holiday. Um, we- <laughs> <laughs> My 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 assistant is Indian, so you know she put a bunch of elephants and shit in the so living room. So she had Thanksgiving. That's what you <laughs> correct, right? Yeah. Um, no, I did something for the first time. Like I'm actually decorating outside and oh, outside. Like I, yeah, I was like, I haven't done that before. Uh, my assistant owns her house, so and I right. live there, so now it's my house because I'm the man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> right. um, so I started putting, you know, lights up and like I'm, I've caught the. I'm doing I, today. Tonight I was putting up the Christmas tree upstairs in the loft, putting lights around the 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 TV and the you know the entertainment center. I'm like, who have I turned into? What like I feel weird. You are doing domesticated. It. I am. Yeah. She got you thought you think you own you're like, it's my house now. And she's she's saying, he's mine now. Oh no, I know. Yeah, she owns you. Because I'll tell you this. Um, when I had my colonoscopy, I went back. That office is gone. <laughs> and and Rand knows exactly where I am at all times. I don't. I I think yeah. she chipped me. Probably. You want she me took to me to a vet. <laughs> yeah. She took me to a fucking vet. Oh yeah. Well, oh, on yeah. a vet, they would chip you in the back of the neck. She was just really fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Put this all the way up his ass. Yeah. Well, how far do you want all, all the way? past his fingers? <laughs> Make his gag reflex re- uh, react. <laughs> 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 we uh, have uh we have five Christmas trees. Holy I think it's five. Cow. Yeah, we have five Christmas trees and two of them are mine. Yeah. And I didn't want to decorate Christmas at I, I like seeing Christmas. Bobby would decorate and everything and, and I'd say, Oh, this this looks great. I love it. No, I don't really want to do the decorating, but if you want to do it, that's great. So nothing outside is decorated. So I don't know if she and my buddy that lives across the street conspired, but they got me this black Christmas tree. And uh, started collecting Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments. Oh, my God. Yeah. So my tree is the first one to go up every year yeah. by me. She bought me an upgraded tree because I 
ran out of space because I have that many ornaments now. There are thousands of dollars of ornaments on this tree, and now I have a second tree, which is horror movie. So, oh, that's oh, nice. there you go, nice themes. So, yeah, those are okay. that's my that's Christmas to me. Bobby, I, I, he just said that his his tree goes up first. Now, does his tree stay up the entire time? Does it start to lilt at any yeah. point? Are the branches? It's a solid, solid tree. tree. Yeah. Yeah. It's a solid that's tree. It spins. It spins. <laughs> it spins. It spins for her pleasure. Well, yeah. Are you? You're okay. No. I wanted to see all nice. angles. I don't know if she nice. was following the allegory that we were going with, yeah. but uh, it actually makes noise too. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Uh, we have three. I mean, we have like a main tree, and then we have two little baby trees. Mm-hmm. Um, normally, so in my old house, the ceilings were vaulted, and I had like a giant tree. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, in our house now, the ceilings are lower, so I would always just take off the top chunk <laughs> of the tree right. and try to shape the rest of it to look like a, a point. Like a point. Uh, but this year, we went with a, like a smaller tree just out of ease. Yeah. Mm. Um, have you seen the... A, I see the meme every year. The Christmas ornament that looks like John McClane climbing through. Uh, I've got it. Yes. Do you really have yeah, that one? Yeah. I have did, with the little with the lighter. Did you make it or did you buy? No. It? No, we bought one. Oh God! So someone's making money off of that. Oh yeah. Because I just saw it as like a meme at first, and I thought, oh, someone made that, but no, someone's making money off of it. Well, there's a couple. There's a cool one that I've seen now where he's going through the the AC shaft, but when you walk by it or whatever, it actually shows the clip from the movie. In in the ornament. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a little screen. Yeah, a little screen. Mine, cool? mine is a mine is a cartoony, cartoony looking John McClane. And did you hear what uh, Bruce Willis said the other day about the is is a uh, someone someone asked him the other day. No, if, what did Bruce Willis say? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> It was way tamer than I thought it was going to be. I didn't. I didn't want to disappoint it. I didn't want to go too hard. I didn't want to go too hard. I. I am a fan. I'm still a fan. Of course. I love when people are like, uh, "Bruce Willis said it was a Christmas movie." I said, "Okay, Beach Bum is a Christmas movie. I'm an actor Beach in that Bum. movie. It's a Christmas movie. I'm Gremlins an actor in is a Christmas. It's movie. a Christmas movie. Yeah. I, if the actor's the person that says it, then yep. then it's true. Apparently, right. Well, does but does Beach Bum take place over Christmas? No, but I said it. I'm an actor. So oh. I say it. oh, oh, okay. Well, that yeah, makes you know, sense. It's like yeah. that. It's like, no, if the writers were to say originally we were, this was a Christmas movie. Although, have you watched the behind the scenes of how Die Hard was made? No. Like, they were writing it as they were filming it. Mm. Because they were, it was like a whole fucked up process. They just fucked up in the right way to make a (laughs) great movie. And there were, gosh, what is it? There were even points where, uh, it's that, what is that Netflix series like? uh, Yeah, uh, the movies movies that that made made us. Yeah, the movies that made us. No movie. No movie was ever, hey, this is what we're going to make. Hey, here's what we're yeah. writing. No. no, but I mean, that one was so batshit crazy. Like, they were even saying, like, the scene that we're shooting tomorrow hasn't been written yet. Oh, boy. And they would, they would wow. call the writers, and the writers would, like, bring the pages the next day. And, th- and it created some inconsistencies that they had to fix later on. And Bruce, we're going to need you to take off your shoes. What? Just go with us here. Just- the glass is going to be real, but you're going to love this. It's Where am I? So good. It's going to make you a star. <laughs> it did well, and the studios didn't want him. Yeah, You're right. I, yeah, I think their their original the original person that they really wanted, uh, I believe, was Tiny Tim um, <laughs> from the original um, movie, uh, well, the original um, so, Scrooge. Oh, yes. going going with those like uh, alternate reality castings, um, Tom Selleck was originally. Who the studios wanted for Indiana Jones? Yeah, uh, which I just saw the new Indiana Jones because uh, it's yet. it's streaming on Disney now. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, okay, I need to watch it now. Um, yeah. It's good. It's better than Crystal Skulls for sure. Okay, but they do a lot of de aging of him for the first like twenty minutes of the movie. Yeah, and if you pause it, like if you pause the movie, you go, "Holy shit, that's that's Indiana Jones from my childhood." Wow. But then when you start playing it, you're like. Pixar presents. Yeah, Indiana, <laughs> Indiana, Jones. Indiana yeah. Jones. Yeah, man, they need to stop doing that. Just, just bring in another actor. We're okay. There are some uh, YouTubers that I follow called Corridor Crew. Oh, Corridor Crew, they're great. Yeah, they're great. They they took the clip of the shitty clip of the Rock from from Scorpion King. Which, to be fair, that was made a long time. Yeah, ago. it was, but even time. even by the time standards, it was terrible. It, yeah, it looked like a PS2. Yes. it yes, looked it like did. a. 
It looked like PS2 in-game graphics, not like a cutscene. Like The Rock didn't even deserve credit because it didn't look like him. Yeah. Yeah, Right. Um, But yeah, they took it and they did deep fake. Like they actually got like images of him Mm -hmm. and tracked it on his face. And they even fixed like things around. It's a really, really cool series. And now that, now like if you, when you watch Corridor stuff, now they're really doing a lot with AI. And um, I would love to see them because they made it a thousand times better. But I would love to see them do it now and really kind of perfect it. Yeah. And I, I, at that point, I feel like the studios should then say, "We will buy that clip from you so that we can put it in, put it, yeah, put it in update movie the now. movie." Yeah. Well, you're you're okay with them editing movies for reasons like that? Yeah. Well, if you're not changing the story, or if you're not changing, uh, like if you're literally just improving visuals, yeah. Like George yeah. Lucas was adding entire new exactly. scenes. Yeah. Right. Right. But it's like it's like uh, remember back in the day when. When uh, you know when we were growing up, and then um, we finally got cable, yep. and cable's happening, and then all of a sudden Turner starts colorizing, colorizing yes, yeah. all of the classics. That would be that would be my take. I was right. like, no, they're just they're enhancing the movie. They're not changing the movie. They're just enhancing it, yeah, to make it better. It's uh, the one thing that I'm I'm kind of waiting for, and I feel like I, I haven't heard anyone talk about this, but I do feel like this has to be something that that is being worked on or will be worked on soon. So like right now, if you, if you go on to Disney plus and you say, I'm going to stream the entire, uh, Simpsons back catalog. Oh, I forgot I was on there. Yeah. When you watch that. those early episodes, oh it looks God. so bad, yeah. but they're also four, three, you know, right. they're square image. Yeah. But like, if you played with AI now, you can expand the images. Right. So once the AI is smart enough to continue the animation off screen, Taking all of those mm. four three animated shows and I'm okay with this. Making them sixteen by nine. I'm okay with this. Yeah, but, well, because you can feed in. Well, especially like with The Simpsons or really any show, you can feed in all of the episodes forever of a show. It knows. It, it gets to know the rooms. It could fill in the room. Right. I'm okay with that. I was. Not. I was watching this thing. On, you're not okay. You're with not that. okay with it. No. Why? Just because of the nostalgia. I love. I love to see it grow. But those versions will still exist for you. But those of us who don't have a TV oh, sitting a on top of another TV can <laughs> can watch the widescreen version of it. Um, I, have you seen? So are you saying you're saying you're just making it bigger? You're not changing the animation. You're not. No, no. You're well. You you're creating AI is creating the outside animation. Okay, but what I'm saying is like. I want to see Bart look messed up. I want to hear. He'll I want still to hear look Homer the same. He's still going to look the same, same because I love. He's still going to look the same. That but evolution. If, yeah. But if he walks off stage left or camera left to to leave, you're going to see him leave two extra steps. Oh, got you. Okay, I see but he'll be in the same janky animation. Like, like fix it. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, 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 not fixing that. it. So I was watching this. Uh, have you seen uh, Google's new AI Gemini? No, I haven't seen it. I've so heard of it. There's this. Uh, I told Renette today, I was like, you need to start at least playing with chat GPT to get comfortable with it because you're going to start having to have interactions with AI every fucking day. Yeah. Um, it, but like this um, <clears throat> Gemini, I'm pretty sure it's called Gemini. Gemini, um, the guy was doing voice commands. So it was responding to his voice um, and answering him in the way that like a chat GPT does. But the difference is it was also accessing a camera. Mm. And he had the camera pointed down at his desk and he drew a squiggly line on the paper and said, what do you see? And it says, I see a squiggly line. And then he made like connected some of the lines and said, you've made a new geometric shape. And then he added like a bill on the front mm. and, an, and a dot for the eye. And it said, it's a bird. And then he made little webbed feet and it said, it's a duck. And he's like, you're right. It's a duck. And then he took a blue crayon and started coloring it in. It said, it's a blue duck. And the guy said, what kind of ducks are blue? Said, well, there aren't really any blue ducks, but there are some species of ducks that have blue traits to them. And then he pulled out a little squeaky blue rubber duck. Mm-hmm. And as he put it down, the AI said, I stand corrected. <laughs> and he said, does this object float? And it said, I don't know because I can't tell what the substance is made of. And then he squeezed it and made a little squeaky sound. And it said, it floats. If it has air inside and yeah. you could squeeze it, that means it floats. And I was like, holy shit, shit. like that's... It's happening. That's super Cyberdyne incredible. is happening, man. I'm, I'm so glad you. we're going to be dead soon. Bro, bro, I just got, I got uh, for Christmas, and she doesn't listen, so um, it, it's great. 
the AI or just the AI, the smart technology shit. I love it. I love the whole smart stuff. So our, uh, uh, my assistant had been complaining about the dishwasher. Right. And I ordered a, a new one. I've got the app. Like it's, it's controlled by your phone. You can control your dishwasher by your phone. Like I can turn it on, turn it off, set the, the, the heat settings. I can do all of that. It's it's through Alexa. Alexa, call Rayan. <laughs> <laughs> hey babe, can you turn on the dishwasher? <laughs> um, That's so a new joke I was, I'm working on. <laughs> I um, That's good. I was I was waiting for that. Hold on one second. I uh, uh this week I took off from work to do writing. Yeah. Yes. Just to really like dedicate time to it and oh, focus yeah, on that. uh and I, gosh, I'm so happy with where the story is going and everything. Um one of the things that I've, I've been doing is when I finish a chapter, I upload it to ChatGPT and say, what do you think? Or it is... You ask it the opinion? Yeah. It, or I'll say something like, does anything not make sense or hard to follow? And, and um, this is what I got. All oh, right. God. Hold on. This is... Uh, I, so I uploaded it the entire story so far. Mm -hmm. And it said... This narrative structure seems like a profound exploration of lost creativity and, and acceptance. It adds a layer of emotional depth and growth, growth to the protagonist. The resolution, uh, the resolution ties together both his personal journey and his creative process in a heartfelt way. Wow. But you could put that as your forward. Right? I know. Right? Uh, I know. It's your forward by ChatGPT. There's a, um, there, a podcast that I listen to called uh, Skeptic's Guide, and it's all like science-based. It's all, it's 100% just a science podcast. Right. And... Uh, they just did in this last week's episode, there was a study about people who use chat GPT for medical purposes. Like instead of going to a doctor, they, they contact chat GPT and say, these are my symptoms and stuff like that. So a company did a full study on chat GPT versus actual like telehealth, like where you call yeah. a doctor yeah. and do your yeah. things. And, and like, as you would expect, you would expect. I would. I would expect it to actually be close. It for... wasn't close. Oh, okay. Chat GPT far surpassed actually oh. talking to a doctor. Oh, wow. well, because it has it has all that. Well, it's all got the all facts. the knowledge. Yeah. it's got all the. It has and not only does it have all so. of the knowledge, but the there are things that the doctors just outright forget. Yeah, and, and so like I had a thing uh, uh, a few days ago. I was getting in the bathtub. And or in that bathtub in the shower, and my, my middle toe just felt like numb, mm -hmm. but just the middle toe on my left foot. Okay, and uh, I was like, "Ooh, that's kind of, I've never had that happen before. Like, never just like I've had my foot fall asleep or something, but this was just the middle toe. And it wasn't until I got out of the shower that it like felt normal again. I was like, "Oh, hey, Chat GPT, this is what's going on." That could be a circulation issue. If it happens for more than a day, I would consult your doctor, but it seems pretty common. And I was like, oh, okay. okay. I, it hasn't done it since. Um, and it will even say, like, call your doctor, or yeah. I'm, not a me I'm not a medical professional, but I feel like you should call your doctor. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to say that the toe's fallen off, but Chap GPT was correct. I really should have contacted my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, I don't know if you've ever gone to uh, WebMD, where yes. you get diagnosed with cancer AIDS e e e yeah. every time. Oh, my God. I have kind of a headache. I haven't drank any water. <laughs> well, you're kiss dying. your loved ones goodbye <laughs> because you're dying. See, that's where I think ChatGPT would be good because it would it, it's going to put it in context. It's going to know the facts versus the fiction, and it's not going to get in your head with all the stuff that you're going to go look for. Right. So it's like WebMD, but good. That's, yeah. why, like, that's what I'm saying. It's got all the knowledge, but it also oh, has... Oh, I'm not here. You got to talk right into the... It has all the knowledge, but it... it it also has the um, the percentages. Yeah. So it, right. it's able to make really accurate based on, hey, here are the symptoms you're giving me. Yep. Percentage wise, it is ninety eight percent that this is your yeah. issue. It asked me a follow up question. Like oh, it wow. asked me, like, oh. does it hurt? So like it was also kind of feeling around for, you know, other things that it might be. Did you also connect the camera? No, that would oh, mean it oh. just when I'm jerking off. Oh, okay. You know what? I, 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 <laughs> okay, this is what you got to do. You know, hey, so my girlfriend, my assistant <laughs> told me that she was going to the store. Now it takes, the store is approximately 1.6 miles away from my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, she said she bought these items. 
and yet it took her two hours to get home. Yeah. Chat GPT, what can I make of that? She fucking someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she fucking. <laughs> Uh, all right, we sh- we should wrap things up here. Chat we, we GPT, she fucking, she better wrap that. We shit just up. hit our, Die our Hard thirty minute mark. Movie. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, no. Actually, uh, hold on. So talk directly into like the center part of your microphone. Oh my god, because I can see it hitting like going yeah. pretty big. I know, but just what I'm hearing here okay. and what I'm seeing on the levels. Down. I'm like, okay. All right. So uh, uh, the the question that we asked before we started this podcast was uh, is and I I tried to steer us towards it a, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? So we'll answer that, and then we'll do what we learned, and we'll okay. we'll see if Chat GPT thinks Die Hard okay. is a Christmas movie. Yeah, um, I'll go first. Yeah, okay. Die Hard is a Christmas tradition. It has become a Christmas tradition because you love this movie so much, and you you watch it during the Christmas season. I I love the fact that it is a Christmas tradition for you. It is not, however, a Christmas movie. It is a movie set. At Christmas, Mm -hmm. you can take that movie and make it Thanksgiving, another holiday where you would have a party, where you could go see your kid, all of the same things, and it does not change the plot. Okay. Mm. So, uh, Jason? I, I think it... I think it is a Christmas movie. I understand what you're saying. It came out during Christmas. It came out for... It actually for... did not come out during Christmas. Shit. That it was a total guess. Out. Everyone says that all the time. They uh, use that as that bullshit argument. Well, it came out... No, it didn't. I'm just trying to counterpoint you. Um, I do. I, I think it's a Christmas movie because... Actually, I really don't. I actually agree with everything you just <laughs> said. Uh, I, I, this, I actually typed it into ChatGPT. <laughs> okay, what did ChatGPT say? Well, so here... Let me... Let what me do cl- you think? Let me clarify. Yeah. Uh, in my head, I think yes and no. It can be both. It's if you if you watch it at Christmas, it's a Christmas movie for you. Uh, I, but I don't think it's that important of a thing to me to to really give a shit. But but like I will say, if I only watch it at Christmas, which I don't, then it's a Christmas movie. So like that's that's what I say. But now, yeah. ChatGPT's answer uh, is she fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the debate on whether Die Hard qualifies as a Christmas movie is quite a lively one. Uh, while it's an action-packed film set during Christmas, the holiday-serving backdrop to the story, opinion about its classification as a Christmas movie, vary wildly. Ultimately, it might depend on personal interpretation. To which I said, make a choice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and ChatGPT said, sure, it's definitely a Christmas movie. The action takes place during a holiday party. There are Christmas themes throughout, and it becomes a classic film many associate with the season. So you're both wrong, <laughs> no. uh, according to AI. Uh, Are you saying you're smarter than yes, uh, ChatGPT? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. In, we'll on this whole, subject, we'll yes. have a whole podcast. It would be this, it, would, it could be the same <laughs> exact this. movie without. I Christmas. love there was a there was a there was a, a meme that somebody put. I, I cannot remember the name. I can't name of the, remember the name of the movie, but it was a huge like blockbuster movie, like in the seventies, right? Uh, Seventy five, eighty, like that, and it, and it went see. Christmas movie because there was a Christmas tree in the background. <laughs> like, look at that Christmas tree. This is a Christmas movie, and it was like Texas Chainsaw Murder. You know, right, right, but, right. I, but I, I I use that argument myself. Like, if I'm making love on someone and they and <laughs> like they they hit their head on the headboard and say, "Ouch," I'm taking hurt credit. Them. Yeah, yeah, I hurt them. Yeah, <laughs> my dick will destroy you. That's right. <laughs> Die Hard uh, is to Christmas movies. As Independence Day is to the Independence Day, like it has nothing to do with our independence, our Day of Independence. But people think that's an Independence Day. That's a Fourth of July movie. No, it's not. It's about See, the world. That's how arrogant Americans are. It's like, no, it's an Independence Day. No, it isn't. But it was the about president the world. said today we today declare our independence. We declare our independence. The world, day. honey. The world. I'm home. <laughs> Ugh. All right, uh, we got to wrap it up. Yeah, uh, Ali. What did you learn today? I learned that ChatGBT don't know shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, Jason, what did you learn today? I learned that Ollie's assistant is fucking someone else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I learned something today, too. Uh, ChatGPT seems to know where I spend my time while Ollie's assistant is grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're Mama's Comedy Show. We're here every Friday night at 8 p.m. Call 407-363-1985 to make a reservation. Or you can message us on Facebook and we'll make the reservation for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, can, where can people find you guys? 
Uh, I've made it simpler. A. Ali Flores Comedy on all my socials. Uh, A. Ali Flores Comedy. Comedy. Yep, That's simple. On all my socials, pretty easy. Um, I got some shows coming up, so my grad show at SAC will be on December 17th, Sunday, mm-hmm. 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock. It'll be a good time. Uh, Gaggle Reflex on December 18th, mm-hmm. uh, Monday night at the Lars. That'll be fun. And then I'll be headlining a show, a Latin show in um, downtown, or not downtown, in East Orlando at Boardwalk Bowl. Stand-up comedy. Saw that. Uh, nice. Jason? I'm acting Jason on the socials. And other than Mama's Comedy Show, I've got a show coming up uh, the 22nd um, uh, where a uh, oh, breakthrough theater. Uh, we're doing a Christmas like uh, sketch kind of show. And that's uh, does it take place it. during Christmas or is it a Christmas show? So we're actually speaking to Santa Claus, uh, and it's about Christmas. So yeah, it's absolutely Christmas. It might as well be Thanksgiving. Yeah, uh, and uh, you can find my books on Amazon. Search for Todd Fair. Uh, and you know what uh, actually surprised me is uh, like so. I this month I've been getting some pretty decent sales. Uh, someone just bought uh, Parker and Jesus, which is my favorite book that I've written, mm-hmm. but it's also probably the most niche. Because of the sense of humor in right. it, mm. uh, so I'm, I'm interested to see if, <laughs> if, I, if I, a new if review comes review. up. Yeah, nice. But all right, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.